So the question really is, it was a relief for you to realize that upon awakening, it's okay to be vulnerable. And I get that. Because the ego has this belief that when awakening occurs, you become untouchable, you become wonderfully okay and happy and all of these things. When in fact, when awakening occurs, you no longer, as you say, relate from the, the, the usual egoic boundaries that define a sense self, which in itself is a manipulation of reality. So if you're not relating from an idea that seems to manipulate reality, then you relate directly from reality. If you're just an openness as awareness, if you're just open to the innermost of awareness, you'll see that you're not the body. And of course, when you awaken like that, it can, as I said, feel counterintuitive because the old tendency is to do things, is to go into the mind and contract, self-contract to any feeling or any disturbance or any attraction in the body. So that's, that's kind of how it is. You start to live the spiritual life, you realise that it's just openness, the centre of which is formless. It's where awareness itself has come away from being defined by the body and, has that, and now relates from within itself, which is the self, which is formless. However, you know, this is just the beginning of the awakened life. When awakening occurs like that, it's like pulling out of reality. Suddenly you're relating from reality. And you've never done that before. So what this means is although you no longer identify with the body mind, you still um, have to, what, what is it? It's not, it's, though you don't identify with the body mind, you still have to deal with a tendency that continues to arise out of the body mind. They're just patterns. You know, you'll still be full of patterns because it's the, you know, the patterns don't awaken. The body mind doesn't awaken. But what you've done with it needs to be seen. It needs to be seen so that when these tendencies arise and they don't serve you or they don't match you, then you have to see it. And, and just by seeing it, that seems to undo it. it. seems to undo the tension that signals for identification. And the signal for identification is very simple. It's a pull to go into the mind and self-contract and become the experience, you know, a mental and emotional experience of the sensation of the body uh, at the cost of awareness being the root source. So basically, when you enter into a, a manipulation of reality, you lose awareness, basically, and you become I. So these tendencies will still occur, but your job now as awareness is every time there's a pull that doesn't match you, which means it's taking you away from awareness being the root source and taking you to the mind being, being the experience. When that happens, you just have to soften. You just have to, as awareness, lean back into awareness. Okay. In the 12 steps, uh, the, the, the spirituality that, I, that led me here, uh, this is what we call six and seven. It's awareness in step six. And in step seven, it's the innermost of that awareness. These two, oh, these two factors have to align. Awareness has to relate from its innermost of awareness. When this occurs, it has a very profound effect on any, any, any type of tendency. So you will get tendencies that are strong that will completely take you into it. And suddenly the mind is self-contracting. And it can feel disconcerting, but your job is simple. It's just soften. It's to remain okay with that and just soften don't judge it don't don't touch it just go okay just just soften and allow the tension that 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 make that that is the driving force for the pull to go into the mind and the mind contract it allows for that tension to go through dissolution which means then there's no longer any pull to go into the mind in fact when this dissolution occurs the tendency starts to correct it starts to correct, which means the tendency itself starts to become, um, oh, what's the word? I always, always forget this word, um, uh, see-through, transparent, that's it. The word is transparent. So the tendency becomes transparent. So in, instead of being a mental and emotional contraction, you'll have a mental and emotional um, 
transparency of consciousness being the root source of its awareness. That's how it is until eventually uh, these, these tendencies become less and less and your seeing becomes more intuitive, more of a flow, more of a conscious way of living, very simple way of living, you know. That's how it is. And of course, you know, for a while in the beginning, you, you will feel vulnerable, you know, and, and it's a wonderful vulnerability. It's a vulnerability of openness that usually one hasn't experienced before. Because before being defined by the ego boundaries, your openness was emotional or it was mental, like a mental emotion uh, openness and emotional openness. That seemed to be the openness that guided the ego. Um, uh, reality uh, but when you're open you'll get to feel emotion get to, to experience that feeling but but that won't be the intimacy the intimacy will be much deeper than the emotional or mental form it, or, or expression it will be the very seeing of it the very essence of it will be a, a more of a conscious intimacy so that's all, that's all well and good but continue continue doing what you're doing if you feel you're being pulled into identification the sense is, I don't think you're being pulled into identification. I think you're being pulled into patterns that don't match you. Because if already you're open as awareness, relating from your innermost, you're not identifying as the body or the mind. You're relating from the true body prior to that condition as consciousness itself. There are going to be tendencies. You are going to be pulled out. But as you get pulled out, remain seeing. Allow these patterns to undo. It's very, very simple. But that's your job. That's what you have to do. And when I say that, I'm not talking about um, a subjective view. I'm talking about you as awareness in relation to your essential nature.